Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again guys. Today we're talking about spam.tm or spam indicators. What's going on? Well, like I said in my last video, YouTube and, you know, by extension networks have had to crack down on channels that are doing spammy bad things. Now, I'm going to say, like I said in my last video, I realize that you people watching this are not bad spam people because you wouldn't be watching this. So, you're not guilty. However, there have been about 38 different indicators that YouTube and networks have to look at to try and determine if a channel is following YouTube's best practices. There are a lot of things, and here's the thing, even if you're an established channel, if you're not doing one or two of these things, you might be sending the wrong signal to YouTube because you know what? They want, they want to promote channels that get it right. So we're going to help you to get it right. Now, one of the biggest things that they're looking at is channel art, or particularly custom channel art. Channel art. <laughs> Channels that have the default channel art that come with it when you just start a channel are actually treated differently. And the way they're treated differently is when YouTube does a search through its API, all the different channels. Channels that have the default banner art that hasn't been adjusted or manipulated in any way come back with default dot banner in the YouTube URL for that channel. So I could have youtube.com slash Curtis Pike slash LXYZZZZ and then I'd have the same thing with default dot banner in it. That sends a signal to YouTube that this channel hasn't changed its channel art and may not be as serious or could be a copycat bad spammy channel but may not be as serious as say a channel that has done that. So with that mouthful out of the way, I'm going to show you how to change that and give you a few ideas and a few options on how we can do that. All right, let's go! All right, even before I start that tutorial, I'm going to stay up front and, and make sure that you understand this, that the number one way to deal with this is really to create your own channel art. You are the YouTube channel owner, you're probably the channel manager, and you're the creative. You know better than anybody what you want to be on the front of your YouTube channel. So keep that in mind. That is always the best practice whenever you can do that. With that being said, there are a lot of new channels or channels that aren't, you know, where YouTubers that aren't really all that great with, you know, Photoshop or the various graphical design, graphical editors, or maybe you just forgot like I did. Well, guys, there is a quick fix for this that I'm going to show you in a Camtasia tutorial after this. But always keep in mind, guys, that you want to go ahead and fix it yourself. Now, a couple things. I have a PSD document linked in the channel, in the description below, pardon me, where you can download it. It has all of the different, well, it has a link to the to Google site that shows you where all the different um, graphics or all the different parts of the, of the YouTube channel banner. Very quickly, the standard channel banner is 2560 by 1440 pixels. But, you know what, it shows up differently on all sorts of different devices. What it looks like on a 27-inch Retina iMac is completely different than what it looks on a 4-inch iPhone, for example. And everything in between. So, you've, you've got to really look at that and, you know, try and make sure that you follow the uh, grids and rulers. Because it's really not as straightforward as we would probably like it to be. So, that is also another reason why a lot of people don't have uploaded channel art. they got channel art that just doesn't look right. That's why... Download that link, go to that link below, click on that and fix it. Secondly guys, like I said, I've got a Camtasia tutorial that's going to show you how to very quickly get some channel art like that that you can upload. It's not going to be optimized according to the grids because this is just a way to show you how to deal with it right away. As I said before guys, take some time with this. Either create your own channel art according to the grids and guidelines or alternatively, you know, ask one of your buddies or a friend you know that creates channel art and maybe they'll create one for you for a video shout out. I don't know how it's going to go for you, but that's it guys. So please, please, please watch the tutorial, upload some custom channel art, and get even in better into YouTube's good books. This is Big C checking out tutorial coming up. Bling! Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial section of the video guys. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create some channel art free. It's not going to be Picasso level stuff, but it's using a free tool, which is really important. Normally you do it in Photoshop or GIMP or other photo editors or graphical editors, but I'm just going to assume that you don't have any right now. So if you're a new channel or if you don't have the money for it or you're saving up, whatever, guys, here's a free tool. We'll go through it using canva.com. Like I said at the beginning though, the best way to do it is to use a graphical editing tool 
like Photoshop so that you can do all the strict measurements and, and get exactly what you're looking for. But this is going to solve your problem for the spam indicator. If you don't have channel art and you don't know how to use Photoshop or you can't afford it yet, done, we've got this. All right, canva.com, hit enter. You'll get this screen. Well, let's go ahead and hit enter and I'll show you what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this screen. From this screen, you wanna move over to the right side and click on more. As I do that, you will notice that over here that all of these are pre-built, pre-measured things for the different types of stuff that you could be do, uh, doing, pardon me. So if you like to do Facebook posts, well, there's something for a Facebook post. They've already measured it out. Just click on that and go nuts. But anyways, as I go down through here, I'm looking for social media and email headers. Here, you're gonna see something that says YouTube channel art. Bingo, that's what we want. Click on that and it's gonna open up a blank canvas with white. Now this is what you're going to see. As I scroll down here, you are gonna see that there are a lot of pre-built um, or pre-designed things that you could use. Normally I would say don't do it, but there's one or two that are free that might be worth a look. If this is, for example, if you want that, you might wanna left click on that and it will load, but we'll do that in a second. What I normally do is I start and I wanna work on my background. I am going to go down here and I am going to pick a background color. Now these are all free colors, including the, you know, the color wheel up here. So for, you know, keeping this simple, I'm gonna make a red background. Awesome, we're rolling. The next step, I wanna have some text on it. So I'm gonna left click on the text button. And then here are some free headings that you can use. So if you wanted to, you know, you wanna get all fancy with some pre-designed stuff. This looks like the New York Times. I don't know, this, these are all kind of cool looking. I don't know, this one's medieval, that's all right. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in, what do you think about this? Frisco, Paddington, oh wow, we got some real stuff here. How about that? Okay, we've got a pre-built design already in there. Now, when I double click on it, you're gonna see that I can go in there and start making changes, all sorts of changes. So I was established, I don't know, let's say this started in 2007, and Paddington, we're gonna change Paddington to Curtis Pike, because that's my name. And then handcrafted because I was handcrafted. Of course I was. I don't know, guys, go nuts. I'll delete that. We'll start off with like a simpler one. Add a heading, click on that. And then you're gonna say, welcome to Curtis Pike's YouTube channel, exclamation mark. There you go. All right, and then I'm gonna hit down, I don't know, I'm gonna click off it. I'm gonna hold down control. Maybe I'll center that here. You're gonna see that the grids come up when it's in the center. All right, it doesn't have the other center. It doesn't have it doesn't have double center grid, but it has this center grid, which is a start. So you know what? There we go. Now we've got it in the center. Okay, there's a simple graphic. I got that download, and then I would just click image for web, and it will download. It'll be 2560 by 1440, guaranteed. So it is good to go to upload, and you're not going to get all that funny looking stuff. Um, but you know what? That was a really simple example, guys. I could delete that. And you can go like nuts. Like here's where it gets really cool. Like let's just delete that, hit the trash can. Maybe I wanna upload a picture of my friggin' dog or my buddy's dogs because you know what? I like dogs. Here's my dog Kingston. Drag and drop that in. Done, there's Kingston. Here's where, what do we got here? We got my other buddy Baxter or whatever the hell his name is. Gonna make that a little bigger. Drop that big doggy on, man. I mean, look, this is what happens, right? Maybe I want some text in the middle. And I want it to be in medieval because, you know, whatever. Drag that bad boy on. Maybe it's too big. You want to resize it. I don't know, guys. Go nuts. It has a lot of stuff. Curtis. Curtis's. And then on the bottom, I'm going to have, I don't know, dogs. Exclamation mark. Super simple, guys. Go nuts. If you don't like that background, maybe you want a different color background. Click on that one. That one's free. This one's free. Hey, that looks a little different. But... You don't, want the, you don't want it to be white font, you want it to be black font. I don't know. You see where I'm going with this, guys, right? All I'm trying to do here, ooh, we're gonna get that exclamation mark. <laughs> uh, let's do black. All of it's gotta be black. All right, there, there are my dogs. This, when you download this, this is channel art, it's done. Again, guys, you don't wanna go ahead and, you probably wanna get somebody else to do it professionally, but if you just mess around for a few minutes, you can create some simple channel art upload it, get rid of that YouTube API, get your own custom link when they do out these searches and solve that problem while you wait for yourself to either design it in Photoshop or have someone else do it, guys. That's all there is to this tool. I hope this helps. I will do a tutorial in Photoshop because you can get a little bit more precise, obviously. 
But uh, I hope this helps, and I'll be back soon with some more tutorials. Talk to you soon.